Hello, my name is Tahir Aikreshi. I'm a fellow of Rose Institute of Canada and broker of record for City Priority Inc. Brokerage. My passion is real estate and your success is my priority. Today's topic is, is the real estate commission negotiable? First of all, I provide a clarity that there is no law, there is no industry standard price that is fixed about real estate commission that you have to pay, pay to any brokerage. You need qualified professional. Every member of real estate association licensed with Real Estate Council of Ontario are licensed to practice in real estate. They're all equally qualified to sell or help you buy a property. The only difference is someone have a more experience, more knowledge and more skill set because they acquire extra credentials not required by law, but having a passion about real estate to provide a valuable, better service to their client. Therefore, you negotiate a, a fee or commission based on the expertise you require to buy or sell a residential or a commercial property. I'm a fellow of, of Real Estate Institute of Canada. I'm a certified real estate specialist that give me extra knowledge and power that I acquire through skill set by paying membership acquiring this education and expertise to deliver a valuable service to my client. Based on that, if you are hiring me, you may consider to negotiate a better deal based on my, my experience, knowledge, and talent and skill set that I have. In normal cases, every real estate professional that is licensed by RICO can be hired to perform a service, but our knowledge is different. For example, there are realtors, there are over 90,000 realtors in Ontario, and there are less than 300 fellow of Rose Institute of Canada, the pin that I'm wearing on my shoulder, FRIs in Ontario. Why? Because I am very passionate about acquiring knowledge, skill set, training. So I understand the complexity involved in buying and selling real estate. Therefore, you negotiate with me. That doesn't mean that I am going to charge you more money. If you are hiring a realtor, you can hire a realtor because I'm also a realtor and also FRI. If the cost of hiring an FRI and, and a realtor is the same, why don't you hire an FRI who is also a realtor? So therefore, Commission is based on what you need and time requires to deliver a valuable service to you. Some are listing property for free, not doing anything. Are you getting the value for the com commission you are paying? This is why it's very important that you services that you acquire, the person you are going to hire is the one that's going to deliver the value that you expect to be delivered. And that's for, and what is included in the package, overall package. Some people charge commission and they give you discount because if they're representing buyer and seller, that's also possible. And we do all the time. You can negotiate a deal, but buying and selling together, therefore you have a special consideration from the listing brokerage or the agent or the broker who's representing you as a seller and buyer, two transactions in one. So there's always consideration. But think about it. Either you can pay a fixed fee of a transaction, selling is one transaction, buying is second transaction. You can have a percentage of commission, which normally uh, I can see on MLS, they will tell you this is a percentage of the sale price. For example, if you give 4% commission to buy and sell, Therefore, your listing brokerage can do two things. Number one, he, put, he can put it on MLS 
and solicit cooperation from the cooperating broker because we are all real estate professionals helping our client representing our own client. So buyer broker will present an offer and if it's accepted, they will agree to give the commission to, to that. And that is the what seller is doing it. Similarly, when you have a buyer who signed an agreement with a buyer presentation to buy a property residential commercial, they agree to pay a commission. Sometimes the, the amount of the commission is the same what is offered on the MLS. Sometimes you property, you list a property is sold by the seller directly. There is no commission coming. Then in that case, the buyer will be paying that commission and you negotiate their commission if that thing happens. When you are creating a BRA, make sure you have the, in the schedule A, a define that situation under which situation you will be paying it if your buyer agent through the buyer broker does not get paid by the listing agent. You are the one who hired that person to perform the services. Therefore, you have to pay for the commission. So there is no fixed rate. And you also notice that on MLS, a lot of brokerage, not many, but the few are doing the mere listing. They're charging a small amount of money to put your MLS and they're asking a buyer broker to go and collect, talk to the seller. So there is a form where seller, even though is a is on MLS, but he or she is negotiating directly with the buyer broker, they will sign a, 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 a customer service agreement to allow commission to, to pay. And if there is a difference between the your brokerage uh, agreement, buyer agreement and the commission, the seller uh, sale by the, uh, the owner, then the difference you will be paying it. So this all depends on the type of expertise and services you require to hire a broker or a real estate agent to help you acquire a residential or commercial property. So therefore, do not blindly think that you are not paying for it. You are paying for it, provided that if the seller or the listing agent does not pay, or assume that you are walking on the street, you got a BRA sign with your agent, and there is a property listed uh, sale by the owner. Therefore, the, your agent doesn't get paid unless you agree. That's why you have in BRA an amount, fixed amount, or a percentage, or combination of both that you will pay. If you clarify this in your Schedule A of the BRA, you will have a more clarity. Seller is very, very clear because they know what they are paying, whether it's a cooperative broker or not. Some seller wants to sell their property themselves. So this is provides you clarity that you are paying to listing broker for mere listing only. So I hope that clarifies you when you acquire the services of a real estate professional to buy or sell, you are committing a financial commitment to pay commission to the buyer representative or seller representative. And all commission is paid to the brokerage to check the name of the brokerage or the real estate agent or broker or broker record. You can visit RICO, reco.on.ca or call me. My name is Tahir I. Qureshi. My number is 416-451-3489. If you have any question regarding this episode, to learn more episode visit realtycoffeetalk.com and subscribe my YouTube channel and click on bell icon. It will notify you when new episodes are lifted. If you have any question, please give me a call 416-451-3489. Thank you for watching. See you watching my next episode. Bye for now.